should bring a video to you kind of give you a love slap tell you what I heard today I heard that I should be scared to death yeah the Muslims are coming to get me yeah yes they're doing it again folks they're doing it again as you can see I don't really give a fuck nor am I fearful no no I'm gonna pose a question to you too <coughs> Even if you're not convinced that 9-11 was a lie and most of the other shit was a lie, <coughs> my knowledge of Muslims is that they're, in some ways, very similar to the stereotypical Christian. How many types of Christians are there? Probably the same many types of Muslims, subcategories, uh, sub-religion, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm not scared of them anyway. There's, there's probably one faction of them that are radical. That's fine. You got radical white people that rape babies on a daily basis, so I'm not in fear of them either. No. You shouldn't be either. And I want you to think about something else. Okay, so Muslims attacked us on 9-11. I'm gonna, for the sake of argument, say that's true. I don't believe that. But let's say for this scenario, that's truth. And they are gonna attack us now, for sure, confirmed. They want us dead. Do they have valid reason? Do they have a thousand army bases around us? Folks, we're, we're the, not only the dominator, but the tormentor of the planet. We think we rule everything. Oh, we got to close some embassies in Muslim neighborhoods. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, come on. You need to close all the fucking military bases. Maybe that's why people, if they even do want to attack us, that would be a valid reason. Because we've put our military at every key point on the fucking globe we can get our hands on. And if we couldn't do it peacefully, we'd kill for it. We don't have a right. We don't have a right at all. We can't manage our 50 states. Cut the bullshit. You think you're ever going to vote your way out of this? Out of, out of the thirst for fucking power? You're going to vote, really? Because the grand scheme of things, uh, looking back, the way I see it, is it didn't matter if it was Democrat or Republican, we've been killing since we arrived. Let's tell the truth for a minute. And then as soon as we killed everybody on arrival and controlled this piece of land, we said we must spread out through the rest of the globe as well. And poof, over a thousand military bases, and I, I don't have the exact number in front of me. Even if it's only a thousand, that's too many. We, we don't need that. We shouldn't have that. I don't think we should have military bases anywhere other than in this country. One per state. That's all we should have. We should have one per state. But what the fuck is going on? What have you condoned? What have you paid for? What have you allowed? You're gonna keep voting, huh? You're gonna keep killing then. And you're gonna keep paying for it. I'm not gonna have a part of it. I, I can't. No. I work mostly for cash now. 
it's going to come a time uh, I'll get myself into a position where I'll be able to live just on bartering. I have to, or I'm not going to survive. You ought to think about the same thing. Because when you're done killing for money, when there's no one else to kill, <laughs> how are you going to get what you need? Oh, I know. There's always somebody to kill, right? Well, anyway, before I leave you, I don't want to leave you on a miserable note, so I'll show you the little piece I have right now. The mountains are over there. It's beautiful. Beautiful day. This massive tree. This be such an awesome place. I don't read, really, I mean, unless I have to. I'm not a book reader, per se, but it would be a great place to read a book. Take a nap right there. Look at that, huh? Anyway, much love, many thanks, and uh, nobody's coming to get us, folks. Nobody's coming to get us. Listen, if it were the truth, you wouldn't have heard it on the news, okay? And uh, when they're pumping it out over all the radio stations that basically the Muslims are going to attack us, come on now. No, no, no. That's just a ploy. Then they can get military in the streets and start rounding up people here on the homeland yeah, yeah, cause another race war, desensitize everybody to military intervention in the public. Wonderful. Don't believe the hype.